Uh, speaking of, BYU and BYU-Idaho right. slang. <laughs> Lots of hashtags in the intro for the secret lives of Mormon wives. Roll it. Yeah, kind of an interesting uh, piece. I've only seen a little tiny bit of it, but you were saying that you've seen a couple of episodes now, right? I watched the first episode and pretty much checked out, but let it roll in the background while I was transferring. Uh, I got a new external hard drive today. <laughs> nice. It's a Samsung T9 SSD. Ooh. It's like, yeah, really fast. Are you really excited? No. You like your new piece of tech? <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what to think. Yeah. These ladies don't seem Mormon to me. Okay, so here's the <laughs> biggest thing. This is, by definition, trash TV. Yes. You know... It, after the first episode, I realized this is just the Real Housewives repackaged. Right, exactly. And I hated that shit. Exactly, right. So, I have a feeling I won't really enjoy watching it in general. And I... Hmm... The thing that drives me a little nuts about this is that I think that people who are actually in the Mormon church and practicing it as true LDS members, um, I think that they're interesting enough. I don't think we need to do this weird mean girls packaging for it. Right. They're, you know? So it's the ladies of, if you remember the hashtag mom talk trend on TikTok mm -hmm. a couple years ago. This is sort of the aftermath of what ultimately ended up being a soft swinging scandal in Provo, Utah, Utah County, Happy Valley. Yeah, weird, dude. Right? Like they uh, did you know, Carly, for instance, that you can swear as much as you want, drink as <laughs> much as you want, be married and still have a Tinder account, mm. cheat on your partner as much as you want and still get married in the temple? I would that think That was not. my takeaway. <laughs> yeah, well, I I yeah. I would think not too. <laughs> yeah. So these ladies are going on global television talking about how they're doing all of that, but then still talking about their desire to, you know, get married, get sealed, have a bunch of babies. It's just the, it's the weirdest dichotomy right. I've seen in a long, long time. But we actually talked to somebody at the most recent wedding that we yes. attended yeah, who knew a few of these ladies. <laughs> yeah. I use that term loosely. They're they're let's see, they're in between the ages of twenty two and twenty nine mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, young, young, mm -hmm. and um, just bizarre, if you ask me. Yeah, it seems it seems like I almost wonder if the producers threw the word Mormon in there to make it some s s more scandalous and more salacious. Right. Well, and that that's even what our friend at the wedding said. Yeah, was basically they're only calling him Mormon because. It gets people to click on it, and it, it it's more salacious that way. And I would agree. And also, I mean, they do technically believe in the church, or at least at one point did, and still chose to do those things. Right. Either either believe in the main principles, or right. they're certainly not acting on them. Right. In the episodes that I saw, but or or I know that a lot of people, and this doesn't, this isn't just for the LDS church, but a lot of people are member of churches just for the. Uh, feeling of community. Right. Which yeah. I, I totally get, especially be, especially nowadays where we are so atomized as a society, having something like that where you can go to church and have buddies and have some kind of community is sort of necessary, mm -hmm. you know, especially when people don't even know their neighbors anymore. It's a way to help others and right. have a, have a, some support if you need it. Right. Too. Exactly. I haven't decided though, am I on team Taylor or <laughs> team Whitney? <laughs> Um, Taylor's a train wreck, right? Like got divorced, <laughs> um, has another baby daddy, has mm -hmm. an assault charge. So Oof. this all, this all came to like the soft swinging scandal came to light in May of 2022. Taylor mm -hmm. was arrested for assault in 2023 and they must've already been filming for a little bit because mm -hmm. they got a lot of that. Right. I mean, I think they... Or they got body cam footage from the police officers. Crazy. Okay. But then there's Whitney, who, if you remember, had the cringiest TikTok of all time. Her little son, Lee, was in the hospital with mm -hmm. RSV, low on oxygen, and she does this dance. Like, first of all, just disgusting. Yeah. E exploitative. And look at the desperation in her eyes. Did you see that? She looks like, oh, oh I got to dance. I still have to create content. Yeah. No, you don't. 
No, you don't. You got to take care of your son. Take yeah. care of your kids. It, it, <sighs> I don't know who I was channeling just then, but. The whole thing, it, you know. It's disgusting. The whole thing just feels very clout chasing. Yeah. You know, and. The lengths that people yeah. will go to either for that dopamine rush or the clout. I kind of think that you have to be some degree of shameless to go on a, a show like this. Is oh, yeah. Thing. Taylor, especially. You know, I think, frankly, I could never because I would be terrified of anyone finding out anything bad about me. Not that. No, I, and I, I guess I really nothing don't matters have, anymore. Right. Well, and I was going to say, I don't really have skeletons in my closet. Like, there's nothing that would be life ending if anyone found out about it. But realistically, I don't like the idea of people, you know, Sh- you know, shuffling through my private life. That seems weird. Well, and you can, you, know? s- you can call it whatever you want. Soft swinging. Right. But, um, you may not be, f- but you're still doing a lot of sucking. Yeah. That's weird to me. Okay. And everybody, I guess in this group, <sighs> here's another thing. Or most I'll, of them. Here's another thing I'm going to say. So I was raised LDS and I can't imagine being okay with it. Believing in that faith and not being just anxious all the time about dying. Like, what if you die before you have a chance to repent? I get that there's the whole afterlife and you can do it then. But also, the thing is, in the Mormon religion, you can't just sin with the expectation that you're going to repent later and God's going to be okay with it because the whole point of repentance is that you have to actually feel bad about what you did and go to him with a humble heart. And that's sort of the feeling that I get from these ladies. Yeah. There's there's like I think, zero remorse. I think that they really misunderstood repentance and they think that it's just like a half-hearted, sorry, God, my bad. And at, you're like, yeah. good. At and one, it's like, no, dude, that's not one, what you're taught. <laughs> one point Taylor actually said, I don't know when these guys are ever going to get over this. Like, <sighs> um, if my, if what, if my timeline is correct, it's been a year or less since this all happened. Right. You know, well, are we just supposed to forget about it? Not only that, but okay, when I was in the church, and I don't know if this has changed since then, but when I was in the church, I was basically taught that sex before marriage was just a little bit less bad than murder. They said that on the show. Right. <laughs> and so I can't imagine, you know, being not only willing to do that once, but willing to do that just willy nilly and not being worried about God being like mad at me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it, we did ask Mormon <laughs> Jesus for a response and his thoughts on the show, and here's what he said. Maybe we should start calling him exasperated Jesus. <laughs> kind of like Buddy Jesus, but... Yeah, Buddy Christ from real, Dogma. <laughs> when he's had a real hard day. <laughs> anyway, it's on Hulu, and I think the whole first season is up. I think they put mm-hmm. all eight episodes up at once. Wild. I'll watch it with you. Yeah. If you want. Oh, I, I'll i watch at least the first episode, get the vibe for it. It's definitely one of those background shows. Right. right. If, as can't. long as I'm doing something else, like yeah. transferring terabytes of data mm-hmm. and looking at cat memes. Yeah. I, I can't imagine the um, mental capacity of someone who would have to give their full attention to that show to fully <laughs> appreciate and understand it. My attitude's changed a little bit ever since somebody explained to me Look, I know it's trash TV, mm-hmm. but it really helps me to turn my brain off. Right. And sort of, a, it's a distraction from my own problems. Yeah, absolutely. So if you need something like that to shut your brain off before bed, I get it. But damn. <laughs> it is it is kind of fascinating, though, being here in the Mormon corridor, watching mm-hmm. something happen so close to home. Right, right. And, and going to a wedding where mm-hmm. one of the bridesmaids knew these ladies. She wasn't one of the bridesmaids. She was just a guest. Okay. But still. But yeah, small yeah. small <laughs> world, small corridor. Kind of funny. Yeah. You know, here's the thing. I have a feeling that the whole show is just going to make me so mad because like, honestly, I'm jealous. I'm jealous that they can go out and do as they please and not feel the crippling anxiety that I would have had I been doing the same things as them. But Carly, <laughs> what does it profit a person if they gain the whole world? All the clout and all the money and all the fame, but lose their own soul. Yeah, right. So true. Bible. (laughs) I think. 